Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Anexus TV. This is Kainite and with me today I have Sykes. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to be here. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I forgot what this tournament's called actually. It's the EFRAG European Championship Qualifiers. Yeah, something like that between Estonia and Luxembourg. So, uh, map 1's going to be Inferno. Actually, no, it's going to be... Yeah, it is going to be Inferno. Map 2 will be Dust 2 and if we require a third map, We'll just go straight on to train. Or at least that's what the admins have told us. So, who's your money on? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Well, fair enough. I mean, go on. Guess. Let's see. Uh, 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 let's go with Estonia. Let's start in TT first. I think that's a bit of an advantage. So, Estonia in two maps. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. How about you? Uh, yeah, I've got a funny feeling Estonia will win. Uh, to be fully honest, I think the only reason we're instinctively like choosing Estonia is because it's a bigger country. <laughs> Sometimes you assume bigger countries, well, they produce more talent. But, Luxembourg, well, I've never heard of these players, but we're just going to have to wait and see what they do pull out the bag. I think, with it being Inferno, whoever wins the knife round, do you think, well, winning the knife round could be, could give a specific team an advantage over the other perhaps? Yeah, I think it's definitely going to give you an advantage on um, CT. It's uh, quite a bit easier to play than, rather than T. Uh, We've the piss was going to be really important there. We've had the knife round actually. It was uh, it was right after we went live. I didn't, I, yeah. God, I, yeah, I saw it. They, didn't lose. they lost one player I think, Estonia. So it's uh, okay. a bit of, just a bit of a formality really. Alright, fair enough, but um, uh, if you've just joined us, welcome to Estonia vs Luxembourg. I'm Kainite, and with me I've got Sykes. So, we're jumping right into the pistol round. Luxembourg, unfortunately, did lose that important knife round, which meant Estonia chose CT. So now it's just a matter of time to see how both teams are going to line up for Luxembourgian. I think it's Luxembourgian. I've got no idea uh, <laughs> how uh, you meant to... Let's just say Luxembourgian. Right. Four Luxembourgian players. I like players. it. You like it? Good. Uh, near yep. second mid. Mag's making his way towards Banana. WFL opens the kill. Looks like the terrorists, the uh, Luxembourgians, are making their way towards CT spawn. Wow. NTNY lands a headshot onto Helix. Spots another CT. And Mag is making his way towards that smaller B bomb site. Fed just takes him down. But that kill wasn't enough. Now Snake is going to rotate. He's dealt damage, but he's being dinked himself. He's on 13 HP. Chet, he might get a cheap frag here. And he does. So two versus two. HP-wise, the advantage is for Luxembourg. Oh, lovely shot from Sven. We'll just call him Sven. I've got no idea. Sven? Svenny? It don't matter. Snake, here's the bomb going down. He's going to start pushing from spawn. And that man right there, Sven, who pulled off that lovely Glock shot earlier on in the round, gets his second. 1-0 to the terrorists. Yeah, I like what they did there. They sort of uh, went up arch side and split it, uh, sort of in a pincer move, meaning that they're... The CTs are fighting on both sides there. It's a good uh, pistol strat there. And obviously now that Luxembourg did win that first round, it means that they're going to have a significant financial advantage. It means, well, that on paper we should see submachine guns in their hands and only pistols in the hands of the counter-terrorists. But, despite that, the CTs are the ones who get, who've got first blood. And, whoa, another shot oh, from Chetty. Great Lovely shot by shot. Chetty there. So, Mag along with TNY and Sven in second mid. TNY with that MP7. He's got one of the CTs right in front of him, lands that lovely headshot. And now what can the terrorists do? They are a man down despite having the initial weapon advantage. We've got two CTs near that smaller B-bomb site and they're slowly making their way down. Banana, I think the mag may have heard one of them. Let's turn auto director off for a bit and go see what's happening on that side of the map. Sven and the Mag have made their way through Vietnam. Mag takes down Helix. TNY of course fell to his death. So one of the CTs is of, of course close to that small B bomb site. He's definitely heard the T's now on Banana. I think they'll have heard him as well. Sven with that P90. We know how OP it is. We know how much damage it can do. So can the Mag and Sven get this kill on this bomb site that they need? Sven definitely can't and now the CTs are going to start rotating. They're shooting the, the uh, Luxembourgians up the bomb. But of course, they one only HP have here back side. pistols, but like you said, Sven is on one HP, so WFL is pulling the trigger, trying to knock the mag down. 
Is the man gonna go down? The snake is gonna take Sven down, and it's all down to this man right here. Can he pull this round number two out of the back for Luxembourg? He's run out of... If he's run out of ammo, he's pulled that Glock out, took WFL out. But unfortunately, well, he wasn't good enough. And I think Estonia are going to get this defuse. They are. And wow, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, there's a good, uh, good, <coughs> great shot by Shetty there from uh, Apps onto the guy in T-Apps. Sort of made a 3-5 advantage. Yeah, good aggression there, but from the Estonians. Obviously now, because, well, on paper, the Estonians really shouldn't have actually won that round. Because, well, all they had were pistols, and now Luxembourg, they're, well, they're, they're in a mess at the moment financially. We can see all they have are a few pistols in their hands. The smokes have gone out at mid, so we might see somewhat of a strategic push by them now. So here we go, they're going to make their way and stampede towards Arch. They've got one of the CTs to deal with. Helix with one, Helix with the second. A well, three man from Helix, I thought he almost got the fourth. WFL was responsible for that fourth kill. And the mag, well, he's on a different planet at the moment. He's on a completely different bomb site. The bomb, of course, is down at Arch. I don't think Fetch knows he's there. Now he definitely does. The mag's going to spray that pistol. But he's not going to take him out. And 2 on Estonia. Yeah, they had three to the middle then. It was a bit of a death trap, really. Just spray down. Good nade by Helix, too. Obviously, get first blood of the round. And I thought. Yeah, really good nade. He might have them all up. Man. Yeah. But unfortunately, he only assisted the fourth kill of the round. So, wins for both sides now. We're seeing two M4s, three M4s. Oh, there's a first kill. Well played, Estonia. They uh, smoked the bottom of Banana. They pushed aggressively there. And, well, fair play to them. They pull that shot off through the smoke. And they they find themselves one man ahead already. Only a minute, well, not even a minute into the round. Even probably more like 20 seconds. So Dan's making his way into Apps. He's surrounded. See you later, Dan. And the T's, well, they're an even bigger disadvantage. There with one. And Sven takes him down. So two versus three. Fetch is on the B-bomb site by himself. And we're seeing WFL and Helix protecting this larger A-bomb site. So the bomb, of course, is down somewhere in second mid. It's not down, actually. It's on Sven. My bad for that. It's getting late. <laughs> but anyway, Sven is second mid now. WFL spotted him. WFL, I think he's done the smart thing. He's fallen back. Or is he going to go for it again? No, he's not. 30 seconds, of course, guys. Ooh, Great lovely shot. shot from TNY. Had his crosshair in the right place at the right time. And are we going to see a rotate from Fetz? Yes, we are. So it's down to... Uh, it's TNY and Sven versus Fetz and Helix. Helix, hello, hello. He's going to have TNY to deal with now. Spots him. Lovely shot from Helix. And Sven, of course, all he has is 3 HP. One bullet from Helix finishes him off. And Estonia, well, uh, they looked a bit dodgy, but they did get round number four, and I think they'll be happy with that. Yeah, they made it a bit too, a bit too close, though. There's really good aggression for them down on Banana. Sort of gives you a bit more map control, and it relays quite a lot of information to your teammates, saying... You don't, you know that they're not coming banana. Allow them to push apps, get another pick. I think maybe at that point they should have fallen back a bit, but it worked out for them in the end. I can't agree more, but anyways, a double nade. Fetz blows the lift, the uh, Luxembourg into smithereens. Helix gets on the score sheet as well. Well, it was actually a triple from Fetz. Wow, we were flashed and we didn't see that. And a bit of team attacking. Deary me, what happened there? I think it looked like the uh, Luxembourgians just all pushed banana. And uh, that may dealt all the damage. So a three man from Fetz. I didn't notice that, but a decent round for the Estonians. Then again, Luxembourg were on an eco. Yeah, good eco bash there. Managed to not lose any players. Their economy's thriving now. 7k, 8k. Looking good for the Estonians. So like you just said, the Estonians, well, they're rolling in the cash at the moment. And the Luxembourgians, if that is <laughs> how you say it have two orps. Wow, two orps, T-side Inferno, so... Yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. Normally you don't see uh, any orps on the uh, T-side. It could be miscommunication, or... Yep, definitely so, a possibility. I mean, I don't think it's a good idea, time. but we're just going to have to wait and see. So TNY is yeah. in Vietnam, 
Sven near second mid along with Bowser. And let's have a look at how the CTs are set up. They, uh, they're, well, they're holding Banana relatively aggressively. The fell on Arch side by himself. So well, the question now is where are these terrorists going to go? I don't know whether Estonia have realised that Luxembourg have two orps, but if they have, they're playing this perfectly. They're not. They're not. They're not peeking. That's exactly what Luxembourg want. And despite oh. WFL peeking there, the mag he did have an orp in his hands, that big green gun, but he didn't pull the trigger fast enough. And now, unfortunately, him and the rest of his team are going to have to pay the price. So WFL, I think, spotted a Luxembourgian. They're being very, very slow here on Inferno at the moment. Obviously, with these teams being international teams, they're not used to playing with each other. Both the Estonians and the Luxembourgians, so it, perhaps both sides lack a bit of teamwork. 15 seconds to go, and I think it looks like, well, surely we're not going to see a push from the Luxembourgians now. No, they're going to fall back to second mid. Probably do the sensible thing. Do they have one person AFK? They do? No, they don't. Is he AFK? No, he's not. So, uh, we're going to see 5-1 to Estonia. Uh, what do you think of that round? Uh, well, the mag really should have made that shot in mid. Um, he was a bit unlucky there. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Nothing really happened. They didn't really seem to do anything with the round. They just sort of chilled out top of mid and didn't really make anything of it. And again, something I talk about quite a lot. I know a lot of authors disagree. But you've got to be really, really good with that big green gun. If you're going to play, well, with it on T side, especially on such a CT sided map like Inferno, because, well, let's forget that for a second. Fetz is going to push Banana. He's got another one to deal with it. Three, two headshots. No, it was one headshot from Fetz and one from Helix. So they're playing Banana relatively aggressively, like we spoke about before. And going back to what I was saying before, the T's, they brought up two orbs. And obviously, on such a CT sided map like Inferno, you need more rifles, you need to get stuck in, you need to get close to those bomb sites, and you need to dig into the CTs, and in my opinion, that is very difficult to do, when, well, all you've got is two orbs and three rifles, so, uh, like you said, perhaps a bit of miscommunication, but definitely wasn't any miscommunication there between Chetty and Snake, Chetty died, he called where they were, and Snake now has the bomb at his feet, so, Dan B, we're talking about these poor Luxembourgian orpers, and, uh, Dan just proved our point there. 6-1. Yeah, they've been playing really well in apps together, sort of getting the crossfires down, really making them making it hard for them to push into apps, which is uh, really important for map control. Forces a terrorist back, and they can't seem to set up or do anything. So, WFL with first blood of the round. Obviously the terrorists already find themselves one man down and now the CT pushes second mid but the man deals a fair bit of damage onto him, he's going to do the sensible thing and fall back, Helix gets that second kill. And WFL with the upper mid lands that lovely shot onto Dan, so two versus five, he's not dead just yet, and are we going to see any kill? The man pops up there and uh, well, killed none of them, 7-1 Estonia. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing uh, much damage on the eco rounds, sort of, so it's just letting Estonia's economy just thrive and they're not going to have uh, trouble buying for a long time. Well, we need to start seeing something different from Luxembourg because whatever they've been doing, we've seen what they've been trying to do, it isn't working for them. I think they need to try and play banana more aggressively, perhaps take banana control. Because what we're seeing, just like we saw there in second mid, the CTs are playing very, very aggressively. They're pushing them, they're making the map smaller on what's already a CT-sided map. And, well, the CTs are just popping heads for fun. So still 5-on-5. Five five. We ain't seen much just yet. So the CTs play second mid relatively aggressively in apps, but they have fallen back now. And they did tag Bowser to 6 HP. But the T's, the good news is there are quite a few flashes there, as we can see on our <coughs> right-hand side. So the question now is, are they going to go to the B-bomb site or the A-bomb site? We can see that Dan, he's, put, he's got that AK in his hands, he's pushed up towards Banana, and, well, he's pushed both CTs back into the bomb site, and that, of course, gives the terrorists more map control. It gives them their Banana to work with, but despite that, it looks like they've got their minds set on going towards that larger A-bomb site. So the smokes have been dispersed, 
And what are we going to see here then? It looks like we could see a repetition of the pistol round, are we? But uh, there's the first kill from Betsy, who was hiding behind that arch. Bowser finally takes him down. Chetty, good teamwork by the two Estonians, but unfortunately wasn't good enough. So Dan and TNY, the only T's left standing. TNY has been shot in the head with uh, Snakes' is lovely radiation hazard M4. He wasn't good enough. Snakes drops Dan and TNY. Well, he's the last man standing now. He has that big green gun, the AWP. Of course, it's a one-shot, one-kill weapon. And he's going to run out of time. 8-1. That looked a, that round looked a lot more hopeful for Luxembourg there. They actually, if they had uh, got the trades a bit better, they actually could have possibly had a three on one on that site and managed to plant the bomb with the other two CTs still on B. So there was there was something there that round. Uh, it definitely maybe they can, a lot better than the previous round. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That they managed to sort of commit to do something is is better. I agree. So. What are we going to see now then? We need to start seeing something, like we said, we did see something slightly different from Luxembourg, but definitely not listening to me at the moment. Dan is, uh, well, Dan's pushing Banana very aggressively by himself with an AWP, and he has the bomb on his back. I mean, I'm not an expert at Counter-Strike, but if he dies, <laughs> then he's going to leave Luxembourg. Bomb. Exactly. They're going to be in a mess, so they've got to <laughs> turn this around now. Despite it being an uh, international game, Count Strike remains the mag to be was a, so unlucky. Then. A game of common sense. So the mag dropped to his death. Five versus three now. Bowser's going to pop out. Chetty, who oh, Chetty fell to his death. Nice AK work from Bowser, which makes it a three versus four. Of course, in favour of the CTs. Bowser, they know he's in apps because well, he killed. A CT in up, so we, he'll appear on their radar. TNY, lovely headshot there. We saw him just pop Good around shot. the corner, landed that shot onto WFL, and he's going to need a new helmet next round. So three versus three now. Estonia playing this very well. 20 seconds to go. Come on, Luxembourg, get a move on. TNY, well, we were bad mouthing his AWP earlier on, but he's definitely pulling uh, some nice shots out of the bag now. So Vets and Helix, the only CTs left standing. The bomb's down. Luxembourg finally have got the bomb down, which is nice for a change. We haven't seen many bomb plants, have we? So TNY missed that orb shot. Dan will take down Helix. And Fetz is by himself, and TNY with the hat trick. So finally, Luxembourg pull one back. 8 2. Yeah, they managed to just win the gunfights there a bit more convincingly. Had a few more players left over when the bomb was planted, and managed to lock it down on the after plant. Well played, Luxembourg. And some great orping by TMY there. So, despite losing the round, because the CTs, of course, did win seven rounds, well, eight rounds, sorry, in a row, they are looking financially good at the moment. So Dan's trying to take Banana by himself, but Helix, the terrorists keep letting Helix and, and Fetz push Banana like that. They are falling back now, which is good, but uh, obviously that's exactly what the terrorists don't want to happen, and they're letting it happen. Round after round after round. Do still have some smokes and flashes. How's this round going to unroll then? Snake again. Snake has pushed so aggressively here that we can see in apps that it allows the CTs to cut off parts of the map. And well, it doesn't give the terrorists much room to function. And especially on a CT sided map, what you need is room. Room to get frags, room to, well, room to move around the map. And if Luxembourg do decide now, that they don't want to go to this B-bomb site and want to push towards the A-bomb site, they're going to probably want to use apps to get there. And because there's an Estonian in apps, they're not going to be able to use it. But anyways, are they going to go to the B-bomb site now? It looks like they are. Helix and Fetch, yeah, of course, they're... ready to welcome them into this bomb site. Are they going to welcome them or are they going to fall to their death? So they definitely know they're there. Fetch will take Bowser. No, he won't. Helix takes down the mag. Bowser on for Helix. Fetch with two. Lovely stuff from Fetch. And uh, he has to pull that silenced USP out question is though, is he going to get a kill? Picks up that AK-3 man from Fetz. And, wow, the time ran out. Yeah, ran out of time there. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that round. I liked the idea that they were committing to B-Site, smoking over, smoke off CT, get the flashes in, push into site, but they just couldn't get their pick onto the guy on coils and he just managed to spray them all down, really. 
I think one thing was, that was interesting was they all sort of got onto Banana, but there weren't really any proper smokes or flashes towards the A bomb site. So I think it was a pretty obvious push, which is why yeah. we normally find one of the CTs rotating back towards the other bomb site, which makes these pushes easier. In this case, we had both CTs still on that smaller B bomb site, and now well, we're seeing a typical anti eco strat employed by Estonia. But I'll tell you what, it hasn't worked too well for him at the moment. Sven, of course, does have the bomb, and he's only on a Glock. So Bowser is going to spot that CT there in Helix. Helix will take him down. Mag comes they up no here. Idea. Yeah, Ooh, they had no idea the Mag was there. And it is a two versus two. So Helix and WFL, without a doubt, have the weapon advantage. Helix with that M4A1S. WFL with that big ring on the AVP. And they've definitely spotted WFL now. The WFL spots the Mag. With that M4A4 stat track, faded Zebra. So the terrorists are making a lot of noise, and Luxembourg like to leave it late. And Helix, well, he's got this angle spot on. But the bomb is still on Sven. Sven pops up. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. he jumped out of Vietnam and landed that headshot and took down Helix. And WFL now is going to rotate. He's got his trainers on, he's got his running boots on. He does, of course, have that AWP. Oh. He's spotted where the terrorist is. Who's going to land this kill? The Luxembourgian player in Sven needs to get that bomb down. 14 seconds to go. And the bomb has gone down. 66 HP on Sven, 77 on WFL. So Sven holding that angle perfectly. He's going to spot. Oh, 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 surely that must have been an awesome flick shot. And WFL will get the defuse now. So uh, I don't know. Do you think Sven should have played that differently, knowing he's up against an Orpa? No. I, well, I'm I'm surprised he didn't get killed earlier, but he did well in the end. It was a good eco from uh, the Luxembourg team there. Uh, managed to get the bomb plant, meaning that they can buy and buy another orb, which they seem to like doing on this T side. But yeah, it was unlucky there. It was a one on one. Could he have done it differently? Maybe, but I think he did. They did well to get into the position they were, so fair play to the Luxembourg team. <laughs> so WFL there, he had that big green gun in his hands, the orb. He made his way in second mid towards up, sorry, to peek through that balcony and try and take someone down in second mid. And uh, well, I think it was Sven who had his crosshair exactly where he wanted it. So TNY has made a bit of noise at Banana. He does, of course, have the mag behind him, who has that all-important C4. So are they going to perhaps commit, or are they falling back? The other two terrorists, well, they're right here in apps. So it's a 3-2 split. No, sorry, make that 3-1 split, of course. Fetz is the only man on that smaller B bomb site, and I think Luxembourg have sort of noticed that. They're going to try and capitalize yeah, this on is that. Yeah, this is good from the Luxembourg team. They've uh, managed to draw a player off from the B bomb site, giving them a, an advantage potentially. All right, so uh, Chetty level thi levels things up, and Bowser is going to fall back. Now we're probably going to see a B push now from Luxembourgers, but there aren't any fake flashes or smokes towards this uh, A bomb site. So we, well, we're going to see one heck of a fast rotation from the Estonians. Betts takes one down, but one is not enough. Three on three now, Chetty. Well, we talked about no, no, no fake flashes, no fake smokes. Chetty, he's already, he's got his running boots on, and he's already made his way towards ruins, but he was peeking without his teammates and now Sven made him pay the price. So, Sven, Bowser and TNY up against Snake and Helix. Snake and Helix arguably have the HP advantage. TNY and Bowser, well one shot will probably knock him out now. Bowser's got his eye towards uh, I think it's Helix. Helix lands that lovely silence headshot onto Bowser. They've got to start making their way towards this bomb site now. Sven lands that shot. Good shot from Sven. Does have that AWP. He's on low HP but the nice flick oh, shot there great. from Sven. And we're going to have 10-3. Now Estonia would really like to shut this out. They've been very dominant this half. And if they let Luxembourg get five rounds, that's not a bad half, really. I agree. 10-5, that's acceptable. But but 12-3, uh, that's a bit of a... You've got to do better than that, really. But 10-5, you're looking okay. You can lock it down in CT. So, are we going to see a comeback? Helix... Doesn't think so as he takes down TNY. Chetty's being pushed and uh, Chetty takes down Dan. So Waffle is going to rotate towards this A bomb site thanks to uh, whoever told me WFL is actually called Waffle. Ah, uh, Waffle, yeah. Waffle. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so three versus five. Making me a bit hungry though. <laughs> 
hungry Counter-Strike. There's Waffle. I think he heard the mag make his way towards mid now. They're getting close to each other. Who's going to pull this kill off? And uh, as I would have guessed, it was Waffle because, of course, he was walking. And, well, the mag was running all over the place. So, where are these terrorists going to go then? Man, he's got that. He's got that orb. I don't like it. It's not very agile, but whoa! I think he heard Ooh. me talk about the commentator's <laughs> curse. He fell to his death. But Helix, good teamwork from the Estonians. One in Arch, one in Library, and Snake finishes it off 11-3. What I like there is the CTs went aggressive, managed to get it down to a three on five, but then they sort of drew back and used the map to their advantage. They knew it was a three on five. They knew that the T's had to come onto them, and they just. Killed him. What strange Sarkar says is that. So this is, of course, the last round of this first half. If anyone's just joined us, this is Estonia versus Luxembourg. It is the European Championship qualifiers, and it's a BO3 game. So Waffle here. Yeah, well, we spoke about the Estonians getting quick control of Banana. Waffle did that all by himself and took out Dan with that big green gun. So the terrorists have had to buy up everything they can. It is the last round of this half. CTs, they look relatively more aggressive than they normally do, especially down Banana. Helix has taken complete control of that bottom of Banana, and probably what that allows is for Helix to hold that angle, and another of the CTs to fall back towards that A bomb site. So, uh, not only is the B bomb site well protected, but the A bomb site will have an extra CT on it. So, Bowser only on 5 HP, Chetty has company up in upper apps. But where are these terrorists actually going to go? Helix, wow, Helix has pushed down right to T steps. Absolute dominance here, as far as the map's concerned from Estonia. Helix from behind takes down Bowser, but he was surrounded by the mag and one of his teammates. And, uh, well, this round suddenly looks somewhat winnable for Luxembourg. The mag has been hit down onto 27 HP, but TNY and Sven, Sven, of course, with the bomb, they're both making their way towards this smaller B bomb site. They need to get that bomb down. Sven lands a headshot onto Chetty. So the mag, the bomb's going to go down, Snake and Waffle are rotating, Waffle got caught red hand in there, but he wasn't tagged, fortunately for him. So we're seeing an interesting setup here from the terrorists. We've not got They're going to boost ruins. on top of the door, I love this position, it's a good position for holding uh, ruins. Now, let's see if uh, your favourite position is going to pay off for him. So the mag holding the back of the coils probably shouldn't have peaked there. Oh dear. Well, uh, Fetz is going to start defusing, TNY has got to get a move on, is he going to get the defuse? TNY is going to spray... No, oh, was a defuse. no. Didn't work for them. They don't pay off. <laughs> Didn't pay off. We're going to have 11 4. Wait, no, 12 12 3. Sorry, 12 3 in favour of the Estonians. So, uh, in my opinion, surely the Estonians have to capitalise on this now and win. Win the, win the yep. map at least. Yeah, I, c I can't see um, Luxembourg coming back from this. Uh, Estonia looked uh, the much better team and. Uh, if they win pistols, I think it's going to be, I hate to say it, but I think it's going to be a quick half. So as far as... Are we getting a restart here? What is that? I don't know. I think it's just going to carry on. No, none of the admins have told me uh, about any restarts, so let's just take a look at the scoreboard. As far as the uh, Luxembourg is concerned, Sven, of course, he played quite well, actually, for them with that AWP of his. 11 kills, TNY with 10 kills, the mag with seven kills, done with two, and Bowser with four. We're going to see, wow, is this a quick, yep, a stampede of terrorists now. This is what we like to see, straight into this B-bomb site. Bowser with that first kill onto Helix, and wow, the terrorists are surrounded, but Chetty and Fetz have something else in mind. So four versus three now, the CTs are going to have to rotate Fetz. Why is he playing Banana all by himself? Especially when he's low on HP, but despite that, I think you heard me commentate his curse, at least managed to take Dan down. So two versus three, Chet makes it a two, a three versus one. And TNY, he has that stat track Glock in his hands. He's trying to use that nade. They definitely know he's there. Good nade from TNY. Paid off for him against Chetty, but it wasn't good enough. And, uh, well, the quick rush paid off for the Estonians. Yeah, good commitment there. Just get the bodies in, get the bomb down. No nonsense. Good round from Estonia there. One thing I liked was... When they went in there, they lost a man, but the rest of them carried on going in. They're like, look, yeah, guys. Yeah, they keep going. We, we so vital for a rush. Exactly. They said, look, guys, we want to hit this bomb site. We don't want anyone to pussy out, which was something we actually saw 
quite a f happening quite a fair bit between Croatia and uh, Montenegro on this very same map. There we see it knows he has that AK and Snake elsewhere on the map taking down not just TNY but the mag as well. Helix, well, tell you what, Helix saw Snake got two kills and Helix said, you're not the only one who can get a double kill in this round. I'm going to get one for myself, thank you very much. So Snakes is going to get his third and there's a half for Snakes. So Dan, who <laughs> completely confused coming around out, out of the corner, 14-3. Yeah, gone for the early buy AKs. Well, a bit risky. I don't always like to go for it because if they capture it, then it's a potential disaster. But yeah, they did really well there. Clean round. Good yeah. stuff from the Estonians. I couldn't agree more. I mean, we saw what happened to the uh, Luxembourgians, I think it was last round, where they won the pistol round. But uh, they, of course, they brought up on that second round and they lost. So uh, it definitely hurt them financially. But anyways, w Waffle... Gonna get first blood onto Dan. Snake will take down the mag. We've got a bit of a laggy go TV, but it's not gonna. Wow, we're three man from TNY. Wow. wow. <laughs> did, did your source TV lag? Just at, yeah, just yeah. at the wrong moment. Didn't see any of that. <laughs> that was. Ha that was. We didn't. Oh, yeah, I didn't see any of it either. It just happened really suddenly. But anyways, two versus two. Helix versus Snake. Bowser's gonna peek around the corner, but Helix is gonna take good care of him. 15-3. And Luxembourg. Well, they need a miracle to get this draw back. What Estonia are doing a bit different to what Luxembourg did is they're just they're just sort of going for it a bit more. You saw that Luxembourg were a bit tentative, maybe they're a bit scared of Estonia, but Estonia have just sort of gone, let's have a go, let's get in there, fly off some headshots. Yeah. And we're seeing Go TV bug like we were seeing between Croatia and Montenegro where we've got invisible players and things like that, so that's probably affecting some of you guys on the stream. It is lagging. Waffle is in the floor. What's going on here then? Waffle yeah. is going to run. Wow, what's happening here then? Oh my god. I'm in the floor. In the floor. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. going to. Wait, no, I'm okay now. Okay, oh, I'm, just... I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. yeah, it's working now. Snake takes down someone who's invisible. Well, it looks like guys, Estonia are going to make it 16, and as soon as the map changes, Go TV will restart, obviously. And, uh... <laughs> to me, it looks like Snake is just shooting at the invisible power turns. I've got a waffle the underneath a tree. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I've got. <laughs> it, it was definitely Go TV messing around, but, well, we both said Estonia would win, and, well, I'll tell you what they have done, and in style as well, 16 3. So the map is going to change now, guys. Um, it's changed to Dust 1 for whatever reason, but I assure you it is Dust 2, not Dust 1.